It's the first day of Missouri's extraordinary session. I've been here all day to bring you what's next from the state capitol. This is CAMU 8 News at 6. Coverage you can count on. KOMU 8 News starts now. Governor Mike Parson called lawmakers back to the state capitol today to make tax cuts. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raina Katko. Thanks for joining us. This meeting is what's known as an extraordinary session. KMU8's Matt McCabe was at the Capitol today. He joins us now with an update on where the plan stands. Matt. Today in some ways was only a formality. The new extraordinary session was wrapped into Missouri's annual veto session. That's their yearly opportunity to override the governor's vetoes. But the real talker here today and into next week is that new proposed plan for tax cuts. And that plan, it has support from majority leadership, but minority leaders worry it'll take too much out of Missouri's budget. One representative says there's not yet a solid plan or piece of legislation the chambers are looking looking at. We're going to come back next week um, to see what happens, but it's really up in the air, right? I mean, no one really knows how this is going to go, so it's been a big question mark is what this is going to look like and how long it's going to go. Missouri does have a temporary budget surplus. Some Democrats believe that is blinding those advocating for the tax cuts, but Republicans say they're thinking through the proposal strategically. As we were working our way down, we just had a caucus meeting and we're working to some conclusion on the consensus of the direction we want to go. So um, nothing um, outside of what we thought would occur. And these sessions will resume next week. There were some bills introduced today that were not at all related to tax cuts, but I'm told that it's unlikely those bills will receive much attention in the chambers. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Matt McCabe, Camuate News.